Hey, what's up? It's Chris here from Chris's Sci-Fi Reactions. Today we're back with another classic Who. This is Doctor Who The Sensorites Part 6. Um, this story so far has been average, nothing special. I don't expect that to change in this episode. So I don't think there's much more. If you want the full uncut unedited reaction, you can access that on Patreon listed in the description below, as well as my social media accounts. And I'd say we can just get straight on into this. A Desperate Venture. You know, it's a bit silly if you think about it, because all she would have to do is really scream, if you think about it. Obviously forced to write this. Whoever made her do it had no idea that I was being brought down here. Oh, I bet the city administrator had something to do with it. But why kidnap her? You'd think the why is fairly obvious, wouldn't you? No, I don't think it is, Barbara. We're on good terms with the First Elder. The doctor's discovered an antidote for the poison, and now he and Ian are tracking down the cause of the trouble. Look, I've been away in the ship, so maybe I can see things more clearly. And I think we're being used by one of the sensorites who wants to gain power. You mean we're not just being attacked because we're from other planets? No. I greet you. Thank you. Your friends express so much concern about you. <coughs> I agree to have you brought down to the sense sphere. Am I the only one that hears, like, a... Your help. A sis? Or... Something Doctor like that when they're missing. talking. Have you any idea where they are? Now, please tell me. If it's just this There's episode, or I just English. didn't notice it in the other You're one. You're concerned for each other. I assure you the two men are safe. You know where they are? Yes, but they asked me not to tell you what they... What? Oh, they were given light and a good map. Also, they were well armed. I mean, he they doesn't no lie. Day. So, I that is nice to see an apolitician. The been removed. These weapons are useless. Yes, it's only one of our troubles, dear boy. Look at this map. It's no good to us. Look, all the lines have been altered. Somebody's been jigging around with it. We'll get out of here somehow, Doctor. Yes, in time. But have we got that time? Remember, we brought no food with us, and the only water available is that poison water out there with deadly nightshade. It's a charming outlook. <laughs> <laughs> How long are you going to keep me here? That is not for me to say. Look, I've had nothing to eat and I'm very thirsty. It is of no consequence. But I wrote the letter. But surely you did not think you would be released. All human creatures are naive. They live while they have a purpose. I what I cannot tolerate is accusation. I must have clear and definite proof. Yes, sir. Clear and definite proof. I mean, my friend. You have been questioning this sex right who has acted so treacherously? Yes, and what he told us is ter terrifying. Has he identified his accomplice? No, not yet. But he did say that the maps and the guns given to the doctor and Ian are quite useless. Outrageous. This sense right will die for this. Oh, yes, but what about the Okay, so they here? have the death penalty. Lost. It's interesting Lost. since they're such they a peaceful up. race. I'm afraid that answer isn't good enough. Do not be insolent to the first elder. Must decide who your friends are and save them. There is nothing I can do. Is there an authentic map to the aqueduct? Yes. Well, if Susan and I can find a way to rescue them, will you help us? I am suspicious of these creatures, sir. Is that a man? Sure. Yes. Look, this came away in a struggle. It looks like a shoulder flash. I N N E R. Yes, just as I suspected. It must be one of those survivors from the spaceship that exploded. But why should they come here? To hide and poison the water. Yes, but why poison the water in the first place? Just go and ask him. This is the entrance to the aqueduct. Okay, so these are the human survivors from like that exploded spaceship. You have my permission to try. But how will it help you? Well, John, I'll reach the entrance. You start directing us, all right? Right. Carol will be here to help me. Good. 
Oh, yeah, I, I swear that... One of your warriors left here with Susan. He is one that you trust implicitly. I trust all sense rights. Oh, you that, will that annoys me so much. That's starting to annoy me. A very capable human being. Yes, she is. Gentle, yet with strong determination and courage. I was, I was going about to... to... <laughs> I, I was going to say, why do you trust your people? Why do you want to make me doubt them? But trust can't be taken for granted. It must be earned. So true. I trust you, but only because I know you. But Susan, our whole life is based on trust. Yes, and that might be your downfall. Absolutely. Look. It could be going round in circles. Oh, no, no, my boy. No, 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 no. I'm marking the intersection of the pipes. Uncanny. Hmm? It's so quiet. <laughs> Perhaps they're preparing an ambush. <laughs> You're a cheerful soul, I must say. I assure you, dear boy, my spirits couldn't be higher. Collecting evidence, circumstantial and otherwise, calculating Doctor. it, pursuing it until its inevitable end. It's fascinating. Doctor. Oh, don't interrupt, dear boy. It's most irritating. <laughs> I like the doctor. Did I have brought the sensorites with you? No. Wouldn't you like to go... Leave these tunnels and go out into the sunshine again. No, they would hear our minds talking. Follow me. He is going to talk to you. Yes, I thought he'd be a third. Yes, the commander. You'll have to talk to him. Follow me. I think they've been down here a little too long. I'm pretty sure they're not quite right in the head. It's the doctor's map, all right. I remember the senior scientist drawing it in the laboratory. Oh, what was that? They must have realized it was useless. Yes, Hold on. Shall we take it with us? Yes, we'll need it as proof that the maps were tampered with. How is it progressing? I'm really hoping oh, yes. the stories start to improve. Well, they found the maps. No doubt of the best news I've had for a long time. I'm very glad to see you both. Did you have a rough journey? Yes, of course. I'm sure you must have done. Let's have something to sit down on, number one. Yes. Very rough quarters here. You'll have to excuse that. But I'm sure you're both used to battle stations by now. Yes. Excuse me. Number two, you can take over ammunition detail now. You'll find the new supplies all ready. Pipe it into pipe number seven this time. All right? Carry on. One of a fine spaceship. Very fine. Two of my men deserted. Pretended they had to go back to Earth to get reinforcements. So you had to blow up your spaceship? Yes. Still, I suppose I'll get another one. I'll be able to afford it now. Planet's very rich, you know. Oh, yes. Molybdenum. Oh. You know about that, do you? You do realize that this war has been fought by me and my men here? It's and interesting it seeing, you know, the side of human and greed and as well. I'm prepared to that up with force if necessary. I have good supplies here. Loyal men. Of course. We're part of the committee here to welcome you. We all came down here to take you out again to the surface. To celebrate your success, sir. And who is this? Uh, yeah, this, definitely this delusional. Is, uh, our navigator. She is going to lead us back. Well, I'm glad the fight is over. Look forward to a bit of a entrance there. When they have all come through, you will step out and prevent anyone from escaping back into the aqueduct. Now take your place. It is useless to resist. Captain Maitland has agreed to take the others back to Earth. They were completely insane. They really believed they were at war with you. 
At some time, they must have opened their minds or experimented with the mind of transmitters. Every really rational thought was crushed out, and all they had left was the game they played, the game of war. I find that interesting. It's real interesting look at humanity. He will be banished to the outer wastes. Well, I think we must go back to the ship, sir. Yes, you must go. I think, after all, Absolutely. no one likes an eavesdropper about, do they? Yeah, sure, so I true. We obviously have a gift in that direction, and when we get home to our own place, I think we should try and perfect it. Hmm? When will we get back, Grandfather? I don't know, my dear. This old ship of mine. I think of saying goodbye to John and Carol. Uh, let's have a look at Maitland and see him off, shall we? Off to Earth. Well, at least they know where they're going. Implying I don't? Oh, <laughs> damn. Sense, you think I'm an incompetent old fool, do you? Now, Doctor, I never Since said that. Since you are so dissatisfied, my boy, you can get off the ship. And the very next place we stop, I shall take you up myself. And that is quite final. Carry on. <laughs> damn. A land of fear. Okay, so, yeah, that was the Sensorites A Desperate Venture. The story as a whole, I'm going to give it a five. It wasn't the most entertaining. I think the only bits that really were interesting was the development of Susan in the first two episodes and really developing her character more. And also the last episode, this one, was a real interesting look at humanity and greed and what we'll do in order to um, satisfy that greed, predominantly war, you know, fighting with others for, you know, whether that's for fish, land, or any oil, we seem to like to fight over possessions quite a lot. So it was a bit of an interesting brief look at humanity and our greed and what we're willing to do. But yeah, I know the next story is The Reign of Terror. Um, I'm guessing that one is hmm, about sometime in the French Revolution. Uh, I That's not available on BritBox, so I am going to have to go out and get the DVD. So, yeah, I did put in a request to BritBox, and they said, you know, they'll pass on the suggestion, but I don't think it would suddenly come available on BritBox, you know, now. But let's just break this story down. Okay, so we start... What's going on? We start off, uh, Carol gets kidnapped, uh, they force her to write a note to John to say she's going up to the spaceship. Uh, Barbara is back in this episode, which is nice to see. Um, obviously they didn't know she was being brought down. Um, here they're speaking to the First Elder about this. The First Elder is still unwilling to accept that a sensorite could do this. His attitude is a bit annoying, but yeah. He's too trusting. That being said, as I mentioned in the episode, that Donna sort of said the same thing about the Ood and that they had their brains in their hands and that they were peaceful and they'd trust anyone. So, considering it's a, a similar place in space, it's the so same solar system, yeah, it's interesting. I wonder if the um, Ood, if they were sort of drawn by this, you know, they, in uh, the Ood sphere, basically the Doctor said, hey, you know, this is, I've been to this system before. Um, yeah, so whether the that was just a, what the writer came up with at the time in that episode, or if they always used the sensorites, 
I don't know. But it would be interesting. Um, here we have John getting quite a bit frustrated and yelling. Here we have Doctor and Ian finally finding out that uh, the mats and the guns are useless. Um, here we have John rescuing Carol. And then he uses Sam to subdue him. And I'm surprised Carol didn't do the same thing. Um... Here we have the ambassador, um, ambassador, I keep on calling him the ambassador, the administrator and the first elder talking and the administrator is obviously quite concerned that the first elder thinks there's someone else involved. Um, here Barbara and Susan telling the first elder that the stuff is useless. Here we have uh, the Doctor and Ian exploring more of the aqueduct and finding that there's a man in there. Here we have a legit map of the aqueduct and Susan and Barbara using the uh, fault transfer devices. Not transfer, but fault communication devices. Here we have Susan talking a bit about her own planet, Gallifrey. And about silver leaves and the sky at night is a uh, deep orange, I think she said. Uh, which we haven't seen in New Who. Um, we, I don't think we've seen silver plants on Gallifrey, nor have we... Uh, when they showed the Master looking into the, uh, the untempered schism... Uh, it was dark then, and that's not what it looked like. Oops. Here we have them, the Doctor and Ian, looking for the people or the person. And we find these two people. They then ask, is the war over? And they take him to the... Leader, here we have John and Barbara trying to find the Doctor and Ian, finding the map. Barbara then says they'll tell Susan which way they're going. Here we have these delusional people, which is really interesting, as I said at the stuff just before the breakdown about greed and war to satisfy that greed. And what humans are willing to do in order to satisfy that greed, including murder. Here we have Barbara and John. Uh, the Doctor says that these people are here to navigate them out. We come out of the aqueduct and... <coughs> Excuse me. The Sensorites capture them. He tries to fight his way back, but the Sensorites uh, stun him using their weapons. Here we have the First Elder sort of talking about, you know, what will happen to the Sensorites and... Yeah, that these humans experimented with the mind, mind communication devices, which might have basically turned them insane. Here we have the Susan saying that she won't be able to use those uh, abilities anymore because it was the sense sphere that gave him her that ability. And talking about when they'll get back home to Gallifrey. Here we have Ian sort of taking a swipe at the Doctor that, you know, they know where they're going but the Doctor doesn't. Doctor gets a bit ticked off and has threatened to let them go at the, um, at the next story, which will be interesting because 
it is the end of this season, the next story. So it'll be interesting to see if Ian and Barbara do go. Okay, so that was my breakdown of the Sensorites, uh, the final part. Yeah, I, uh, I'm going to stick with a 5, because it just wasn't the most engaging story, wasn't the most interesting story, and it only had that really, that development with Susan, and that's all. Um, yeah, so I don't think there's much more to be said. I know I am running a bit late, a few days late. I'm hoping to catch up, uh, both on Patreon and YouTube. So hopefully by the time this comes out on YouTube, should all be catched up. Caught up, I should say. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. So if you want the full uncut and edited reaction, you can access that on Patreon, listed in the description below, as well as my social media, uh, social media accounts. Uh, if you enjoyed this reaction, don't forget to give it a like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye.